Who are you saying hi to, Pam? Nikki's here. Turtle's here. MC's here. Big Sky's here. Lots of people here. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just call me the D word? It's not nice. It's on the beat on the old man. Hey, everybody. Mary Me's here. Hi, Mary Me. Hi, Turtle. Hi, Jack. Janine will not be in today, guys. She's not feeling well, so we will have a little lack on the mod portion. Pam will take care of doing most of that stuff. We'll get a little cut and dry. Yeah, Pam is definitely not a frilly kind of girl. You want to pour this water on your head? Well, I'm just saying you're not frilly. You really aren't. Are you? Not really. Okay. So you have post-it notes and stuff? Okay. I will be okay. So who else we got? We got MC. Hi, Matt. I see Nikki and Picky. Mr. Picky. You said you saw Nikki too, right? Oh. She was just saying hi to Nikki, even though Nikki's not there. So we'll get underway in just a second, guys. We're going to start the auction up. I'm just sharing it out real quick to our facial book. Way to make never mind. shut up. Pam is the Jackie yeah. of all trades. He probably am. Say, so Picky said he's that Nikki's still uh napping. Uh -huh. Hey, Green's Vintage. Okay, let me uh, let me put something in front of the camera that way you guys don't think that we're selling a black table, even though it's a nice black table. And we'll get underway in just a second. So we do have some jewelry, uh, some costume, and then vintage mixed in. Pam's digging in some of the other boxes that we have. Uh, we'll have some comic books. We'll have some ephemera. We'll have some new with tags clothing. And a few other things. Hello, vintage memories. So then we're actually going to get underway and get started up a little early. Um, I think missing uh, a few of our normals, but give you guys a chance to get a good deal. I haven't checked all of the jewelry. Actually, I haven't checked any of the jewelry because Pam made these lots today. While I was gone getting her pudding. That's right. It wasn't a slushy day, guys. It was a pudding day. She said it was very off-putting. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Sorry. Okay. So, there you go. Gold necklace is not marked anything. We'll start this lot at 10 bucks. $10 start. Like I said, we have no Janine today, so just trying to see if there's any markings. Do we have a ta uh, oh, you got it. Nice. Good job. Yeah, it's really good. We have a pudding bar here. A pudding bar. 
Pam found it because she was looking for a bar. <laughs> no. And she went in and said, I'll have three shots and two slushies. And they're like, well, would you settle for some pudding? And she's like, sure. It's <laughs> so another necklace, a funky watch called Ficaro. Ficaro Couture. Ficaro Couture. Yeah, that one's kind of neat. It's a nifty looking watch. This one just says diamond on it. The box and on the watch itself, it just says diamond. This is a really neat enameled, double-sided enameled. There and there. Really pretty. Necklace. Here's another necklace. Levine jewelry with a heart. Come here, watch. This one says Geneva. It's purple. Rubber uh, strap on it. Yes, I said rubber strap on it. You got that dirty mind. Genuine stone gold over sterling silver. With genuine stones. So those would be emeralds and rubies and diamonds. Oh, my. This is Sterling Creations, but this is really a beautiful piece there, and it is gold over Sterling with real stones. I showed that stuff. This is a Lions Club pin. Don't know. It's a silver bracelet of some sort. Here's an Avon box that has a necklace with these big diamond things and a pair of earrings. So shiny. Shiny. What have we got in here? This is a ring. This looks to be sterling, maybe. It is marked... Nine two five. So this one's marked nine two five. Let's get these really funky green stones. They're really awesome looking. They remind me of uranium glass, like that glow in the dark glass. <laughs> Don't know quite what this is. Some kind of a multi layered necklace with a star and a stone in it. It's really heavy. Here's the clasp. Even the clasp has like little stones in it. So, kind of interesting. What about a parrot? No, not parrot. Oh, paradox. the green stone, yeah. Uh oh, froze. Okay, there I'm unfroze. Well, with empty. Here's more jewelry here. Our internet's acting up today a little bit. Huh. This has a strange look to it. And it's definitely much more vintage. It's gold band pieces. Here's another funky watch. It is Pride Month, so be proud. Looks like Sherbert. Reminds me of Sherbert. Hey, Kyle. Kyle Elliot here. Hey, Kyle Elliot. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is pretty. Let me see what it says on the catch here. Okay, it is 925 and then Indiana. But look, little chain, right? But look at the, it almost looks like Savorsky crystal or like Aurora Borealis. It's a little teapot. 
done in silver and crystal. Look at all the different colors. It's really cute. So that's cute. Uh, here it is. Yeah, the teapot's really awesome. Here's another watch. This one is... Rumors. Rumors. That's a long time for your tire to blow up, Kyle. Yeah. Okay, this one's from Thailand, but look how pretty this is. Look how large this stone is. I don't know what the stone is. It's an amberish color, like a smoky brown. What, you, what color would you say that is? Like a brown green? Looks brown. Like hazel. Like coppery color. Yeah, so the stone itself is like... Yeah. Peridot. Like Ross Perot. Thank okay. you, Mary. Thank you. Let's see what this one says. It says Thailand. Genuine stone. And this side over here says 925. So that is a big 925 Thailand genuine stone ring. So look how big that is. Look, even on, you know, I got fat fingers. So. Nice. You say that until you got to pack it and ship it. So very pretty. I like this ring. They're not very helpful. With turtle, 20 would marry me. So there's another sterling ring there. So there's definitely some sterling in here. And there's genuine stones. So these two are sterling. Ooh. This is sterling. So nice little group of stuff. having four tires. <laughs> Kyle, yes, I would recommend at least four tires on the road also. Unless you're driving a motorcycle. I mean, you could have called us, Kyle. We would have came and got you. No, we wouldn't have. He doesn't bring us any steak sandwiches or nothing. Oh, you got to be nice to Kyle. Unless he's unless he pays for lunch if we come and get him. I would have came and got you, Kyle. Don't listen to Brian. Yeah, Pam said she would have come and got you. <laughs> twenty three with turtle. So we have twenty three on this lot. Looking for twenty five. Definitely <laughs> highly recommend triple A though. Yes. Love triple A. Thank you for your bid. Thank, thank, thank you. And MC, if you get a chance, let me know on that other stuff that we were talking about via email. He said he hears Wendy's had the great four for four meal this time of year. Okay. Brian's not picky. He's fine with Wendy's. You guys bid on jewelry. Why she call too much <laughs> That is possible. Yes, true, turtle. Marry me is out. Thank you, Mary me. Getting you guys your next lot together. KJ is here. Hey, KJ. Working on some comics for you guys. All right, we got 
Ellen in at 25. Okay, I got a lot ready. Okay, so we have 25 with Helen. Hi, Helen. Looking for 27. We have Helen and Turtle. Yep, so Helen and Turtle bidding. Anybody else going to jump in? Make sure you do so quickly. Uh, because we don't have a Janine today, we're not going to give you that whole going once, going twice, and then sold thing. We're going to move things along a little bit faster so we can clear out some of the stuff off the table. I'm just going to get my water. Okay. Joe. Yes, it's Gia Joe. Okay, it would be GI and then space and then the word Joe. Or Hasbro. Because it's from the 60s. That? Hello, Talbert's mom. Hello, Shadow Woman. Hey, Rhonda. Turtle is out. We have 29 with Rebecca. So we have 29 with Rebecca, and Turtle's out, out and Helen's out. out. Yep. Okay, let's, let's, uh, got 10 seconds, guys. Anybody else coming in? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sold, sold, sold. To so whoever Pam types sold. <laughs> Rebecca. Okay. I am not a super mod here, everybody. So yeah, we're going to get very a... light and short today. <laughs> okay. So Pam's going to write out the tag and put Rebecca's first name and last name. Yep. Okay. So 50 comics. Um, I just grabbed a, a short box, so I really don't know what's in these. I just counted them. It seems like it's all Marvel. So Generation X, which is, I think, the young X-Men. So number 56, 55, 54, 53, 52, 51, 50. These are all in unread condition. And then you go into What if Phoenix Had Not Died, 32, Young X-Men. This is a cool first printing, first issue. Here is New X-Men. Here is the Uncanny X-Men number 304 with a hologram cover. That's kind of cool. X-Men number 299. That one's very cool as well. 296. 293. Generation X number 49. February Generation X Holiday Special number one. Generation X versus Dracula annual. Generation X number 48. Number 41, 42, 45, 46, and 47. So that's one side of the stack. This is... Number 57, number 58, and then you go to Extreme X-Men. That's pretty cool. Number 25, first issue, first printing. Not sure what the PSR thing is. So that one says PG, this one says PSR, number 8. Ultimate X-Men, number 22. Extreme X-Men. X-Man, number 50. X-Men, number 180. Number 26, number 6, X-Men number 267. Oh, that looks that has Gambit on the cover. There's kind of, uh, there's going to be a Gambit movie coming out soon. Number 257, number 256, number 271, 254. I can't take off my pants today. I'm wearing shorts. There's nothing underneath them. Number 
two fifty two. Okay, we'll just come right direction. <laughs> Number two eighty. Yeah, Talbert's mom. That's fine. You're more than welcome to do it. Number two seventy nine. Colossus. You. Number two seventy eight. Number 277 with Gambit also on it. You don't have to send us any info. 274. Yeah, we keep track of all the info. It's just the typing part that she's slow about. 272. Gambit number four. Gambit number three. Gambit number two. Astonishing X-Men. And another Astonishing X-Men. So there's a lot of X-Men, a lot of Gambit, and Generation X. 50 total books in the slot. All pretty much unread condition. Shipping is included inside the United States at your bid price. Hello, Mr. Brian Barone. How are you? Hi, Brian. So this is all X-Men, Generation X, and Gambit. KJ. <laughs> We're at 30 with Brian Maroney. <laughs> Great to put y'all that in the corner up there. <laughs> huh. Look at that. You put that in the, the picture so they could see that. Oh. What graded book is that? Oh, it's a first uh it's a first black suit Spider Man. It's one of the first three, like they did three different ones at the same time. It's a nine four of Spider Man. Thirty two with vintage memories, thirty seven with Brian Maroney. And then because the Moon Knight movie's coming. A Moon Knight one. That's what we have up there. Thank you so much, Talbert's mom. Looks like Spider Man. <laughs> yep, that's what it is. So, but right now it's just these 50 books, these 50 awesome X Men books and Generation X. I'm really happy about the Gambit books on this box because of them going to make the movie. 51 with Brian Maroney. So 51 with Brian. Oh, that's awesome. I just thought it was 9-1. In 9.4. So mine was better than yours. Or because I forgot you could have bought one. <laughs> well, I have a 9. I think I have a 9.4 and 9.6 in the office. That's why this one's coming out for sale. Vintage Memories is out. Thank you for your bids. Getting you guys the next lot together. File needs a tire fund. Hello, Brick House. I agree, Turtle. What? File needs a tire fund. <laughs> Twenty-eight. Ooh, there's some good ones here. Twenty-nine. Thirty. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Four. Six. Thirty-seven. Four. That's actually a really good book right now. The book should blow up. Oh, the next lot's good. What are these? They are boards for, um, if you look on some of them, they're marked on the edge. But you, just auntie. type in this yeah, number. <laughs> Or some high definition pictures. We're at 51 with Brian Maroney, 55 with Rebecca. And did she do that? What do we have? 51. We have 51 with Brian Maroney, so we need 56, Rebecca. 56. So we need 56 with Rebecca. Five dollar increments above fifty one or above fifty. So So we need fifty six with Rebecca. There we go. Got it. Thank you, Rebecca. Fifty six. Thirty 
Scrameroni is out. So we're at 56 with the Rebecca. Thank you for your bid, Brian. I just got called about 200 more long boxes in Florida. It will hurt you. Hi. We have a big pile back there. I'm working on that. We're I selling know. those. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of stuff to sell. No more comics, Brian. You guys heard that right here. I'm not allowed to buy no more comics. Pam said so. We buy the graded ones and stuff for little people, but not, you know. We don't need no more long boxes. We have a big, huge pile. It's taller than us. There's only 200 more boxes. It's tall, you yeah, know. We have 62 with MC. Close your ears, everybody. Pam stabbing Brian. <laughs> we have 62 with MC. Rebecca is out. Okay, we're going to give it a quick countdown. Hi, Shriker. Hi, Shriker. And Talbert's mom, you're doing a great job. Everybody, Talbert's mom is is helping us out with our modding today. And if if Talbert would like to have Shriker help, then she can just let him know. And if Talbert wants to do it, she's welcome to. Pam's just not a fast typer, and it's hard for me to bounce back and forth between the screen. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Maybe Brian and, and Nikki are a team here. No more comics. Yeah, but see, they're down in Florida, so they could go get the comics. <laughs> Hi, Jill. Okay, it looks like we're going to be sold. Yep. Go ahead and sell this lot out to MC at 62. The next lot is awesome, guys. We'll tell you as I finished putting books in the lot, I realized there's some something in here that's really good. Sixty two to MC. MC, congratulations. Yeah, Okay, the next slot is out of this short, same short box, but oh, I'll show you towards the end of the stack what I think is really awesome. And in the meantime, I, I will give you guys a hint. Kitty Pride is involved. So Madro number five, number four, number three, number two. And number one. Thank you, Talbert's mom, for your help. Yep, absolutely. Thank you. Long shot number one. Kitty Pride, Agent of Shield, number three, number two, and number one. So Kitty Pride seems to be very popular right now for some reason. And then you go back into the 70s and you get Magic, issue number one, issue number two. Number three and number four. It's the full limited edition mini series. We have the Magneto number zero, Magneto number three, number four, X Men the Magneto no War number one, and I think this one is a um, variant cover Magneto Rex, Magneto Rex, more Magneto Rex. Magneto number one, Magneto Dark Seduction, Dark Seduction, and more Dark Seduction. It's because he's got a magnetic personality. He can seduce anybody. Okay, but the Kitty Pride's awesome. Fantastic Four, House of M, issue number one of three, issue number two of three, and issue number three of three. But then there's also issue number four of five, Spider-Man House of M. Spider-Man House of M, number five of five. Those are cool. But I think these are really good. So it's a six-part uh, limited edition 
miniseries. These are like 1980, early 80s, like 83, 84. So this is issue number six. With MC. Issue number five. Issue number four. You see here where we're going here with this. Issue number three. Issue number two. And issue number one, which is actually really good. Then we have Jubilee, issue six, five, four, three, two, one. It's a nice little run of Jubilee. We have Iceman, four of four, three of four, two of four, and one of four. So this is the full set of Iceman icons. And then back from the early 80s, we have We're at 50 with MC. Iceman issue number four, Iceman issue number three, issue number two, and issue number one. So this is also the full set. And this is another House of M the day after. So this is very, very cool. There's Kitty Pride stuff is, is doing very well right now, Kitty Pride. And there are both complete sets are there. Let's let them over some because that glare is killing them. So we have 55 with Marry Me. There's 50, well, actually, there's 51 books in the slot. <laughs> Foiled again by 80s <laughs> Gorilla. Fifty-one total comics. Yep. Good job. So we have sixty with Van Owsley. Hi, Van. So we're looking for sixty-five. Like I said, the best ones, in my opinion, would be the full series of Iceman and the full Kitty Pride Wolverine series. All six issues. And if anybody else has sent us registration, make sure that you guys just comment registration sent and we can give you your wrench. So we're at 60. Gonna go ahead and start counting it down. We can see if we have any other interest. Conditions really nice on all the books. And we have 57 people here. We do want to thank everybody for being here on this nice, warm, sunny day. It's really not as warm as yesterday. No, it's not as bad as yesterday, for sure. I'm freaking crazy yesterday. It was 93, though. That was at 93 outside? So, so we're at 60 with Van Owsley, looking for 65 or better. Feels like 102. Actually, it feels like 230 already. Index 9. 77 with MC. Look at you coming in and sniping. MC's learning. So we're at 77, so we need $82 for the next bid, 82 or more. So the MC at 77, looking for 82 or more, $5 increments or more. Oh, uh, his internet dropped. Marry Me is out. 
Van is out. Okay, thank you for your bids. Okay, start counting it down. Where's our Kyle Turan today? Kyle Turan, no Greg. Everybody's on vacation. I no think. Kyle, no Greg. Jeez, we're going to have to not have an auction tomorrow and I can sleep. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> but I do have other work to do. We can skip tomorrow's auction and just do a big Shackman line wholesale. <laughs> Going twice. Three times a lady. Okay. So we're going to be sold at 77 to MC, I believe. Unless somebody else snipes. Yep, sold to MC for 77. Congratulations, MC. MC. I think that was a good buy. There you go. <laughs> no, you guys are here. I said the people that are missing. Oh, for tomorrow? I didn't cancel. Okay. I already made this room yard. Okay, I don't know what's in this box. Pam made it. Ooh, this is neat, though. So this is some kind of a wolf head cup. Like silver plate or... I don't know. It's got a nifty fox head or a wolf on it, though. Pewter. I was looking to see if there's any markings on it. I don't know. It can go like that. Or it can go like this. So that's really cool. Here is Pewter by Halls, I think is what it says. Awesome. Here's a gravy boat. And this one is International Pewter Company, marked on the bottom right there. I have no clue what that one says. I think it says Shirley Handmade. I'm just checking to see who was here, Kyle. Yeah, I think it says Shirley, S H I R L E Y. Handmade. I am not sure what. <laughs> what is it? I got nothing. Well, this thing screws out of it. Oh, yeah, no. it's a lamp. Interesting. Oil candle. Oil candle lamp. This one says International Pewter on the candle holders. Those are heavy. <laughs> There's a pair of those. Here is a, oh, these are funky. Look, salt and pepper shakers, very like onion-esque shaped. These are by Kalmar Pewter in Norway. So these are mid-century modern. These are very cool, salt and pepper, mid-century modern. Those could be really, really good. And here is an awesome teapot that is by Kirk Pewter. Kirk Pewter, number 602. 25 with Rebecca. And then don't forget, it's got this awesome wolf or fox head goblet. I have a dented tray. I'll let you make the decision on throwing it out. Oh, it's in here now. This doesn't look pewter, though. It looks like it's made of uh, or silver plate. Okay. Now we got a serving piece here. This one's Oneida Sterling. Or Oneida uh, Stainless, sorry. Not Sterling. And these just say Made in China. Made in China. With the embossed bowls. Hi, Frank. Pink. They made noise. Here is an old pewter... Miniature ladle. Here's 
here is a another old this one was older tiny little spoon and another tiny little spoon and I don't know what that one says yeah I have no clue what this one says 27 will marry me Wait, the salt is burning. <laughs> I don't know why you're being so salty. <laughs> so, but this one's very cool. I, I still like this one because it's got like the figure roll. It's very detailed. But I can't find any markings. And these could be really good because they're Norway and they've got that mid-century modern work, that look to them. Damn, Kyle says hi. Kim says hello, Kyle. So that's what we got in this lot. See, we've got some miscellaneous stuff. We're not just paper and toys and comic books. And I'm going to start putting this stuff back in the box as I show it to you guys while you guys are bidding. Pam should be calling out your bids. It was. So you went on there. I was. We're at 29 with Rebecca. Okay, 31. Okay, well, so 31. This is an actual lamp. Mid-century modern salt and pepper shakers. Little tray. Hello, Mr. Hot Wheels. Hi, Mr. Hot Wheels. Another pair of salt, or, uh, candlestick holders. A little creamer, I guess, or sugar. And then the pewter teapot. There we go. Whole box of pewter. What do you call an alligator in a vest? An investigator. Get it, investigator. Get it, get it, get it. Mary Me is out. Thank you for your bit. You can use that in your stand up act, Brian. It's an icebreaker. I don't know where it came from. Uh, it probably came from up there. You can just toss it in the garbage. Going once. Here's some more metalware stuff. I can do that next. Clears it off the table. This Going twice. Holy cow. This one's heavy. This one's super old. Nancy said, Brian, you should keep your daytime job. <laughs> what is that? Telling you guys stuff? Fair warning. We should get some banners today. What do you think? Okay. Hair of the dog series. Nice. Sold, sold, sold to Rebecca for 37. Thank you, Rebecca. Congratulations, Rebecca. Thank you. Good 
fits nicely in that box. No, you didn't. So I know. Okay. So here's some more metal stuff. Not too sure. Is there no more metal stuff? I didn't find any more yet. Holy cow, this thing weighs like how heavy is this? This one little cup's like one and a half pounds of pewter. So you get this. Now this is a very early pewter teapot, coffee pot. There's no lid. I think it's pewter. Ding. Fries are done. Ding, fries are done. Would you like an apple pie with that? Can I see the, the magnifying glass, please? And we have a Pewter Lions Club 1975. Or actually, this is probably hammered aluminum. Let me check this down. Wilton is the company. And it's got some initials scratched in here. 177-128601. And then there's this long tray that has some kind of marking here, but I can't make it out. It looks like it scratches. And it's got the little handles. It's a really long one. You hold it. You have a wrench now. Yep, you have a wrench. You're welcome to bid. Okay, this says Sheets Rockford. Sheets Rockford's company, 1875 Pewter 461. That's what this says. Sheets Rockford. Computer since 1875 or 1875. And then, holy moly, this thing's heavy. This is International, Chicago, Illinois. It is a presented to the Freemansburg Lions Club by the Wilson Burrow Lions Club, April 20th of 1954. This is some kind of an award that sat in the uh, the Lions Club. And then she brought me up a glass piece to go with all this metal. I didn't do this. I just remember it's Pam's fault. Uh, it says, Roses, Roses, Cologne. So it's a cologne bottle or something. So maybe this, this pops off and it's a lid. So it is solid in the bottom. So that's what you get in this lot. Looking for $25. Yeah, 1954 Lions Club piece. And it wouldn't be something that would be given to people. It was actually given to the entire, that entire Lions Club. Okay, we have any interest looking for a $25 start yes scotty the pitcher is pewter it is by sheets rocks for rock ford and it says pewter it says 1875 sheets rockford s co 1875 25 with rebecca 27 with scotty That thing is cool. Probably more. Yeah, I'm talking about the Lions Club thing. The award. You know that's Freemansburg, right? Yeah, Freemansburg. I sent a little picture of it. Also, check this out. Did you bring me chicky fingers? Hmm? Did you bring me chicky fingers? No. Oh. That was my one left from yesterday. No, no, no. I meant like. Damn. Oh, crud. No, no. <laughs> I almost said it too. <laughs> yeah, I have a whole box at home in my freezer for you. <laughs> if I drop Big Barn and Flamingo's auction link for tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, Spencer. 
Hi, Spencer. Long time no see. He's on mute, he said, so he can't hear us. Uh, so here. So we'll say hi, Spencer, that way. Good job. What time tonight Our, uh, is Big Barn Auctioning? So JJ over at Big Barn Auctions is a really fun guy, has some good auctions. They always sell some really cool stuff. They're going to have an auction tonight. So you guys make sure uh, Shadow Woman's going to drop their link right after this lot. Ah! Beast. Beast. That's what they used to call me. You should put that in on your desk. 9 p.m. Gotcha. <laughs> Not if it ain't listed. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, whatever. If you want to take it. No, but you just can't, like, throw it in a box and leave it somewhere. You can actually, like, <laughs> display it. Please look neat. Keep it on to see. Or you gotta at least let me watch you rub the beast. <laughs> <gasps> you Careful touched his winky. Careful of prices here. Thirty-three with Rebecca. Uh, she was talking about something that we had on on eBay. Yeah, it was a beast stuffed animal. Yeah, it was a toy. So we're at 35 with Scotty. Did I miss somebody's comps? No, I think they might have thought we were saying prices. Oh. If I say prices, it's fine. My auction. <laughs> That's exactly it, Shadow Woman. He wanted her to rub the beast. <laughs> nice. <laughs> she wanted my beast. 37 with Rebecca. <laughs> so we're at 37 with Rebecca. Looking for 39. Oh, uh, that's what they were talking about. Oh, yeah, that's okay. It's after after the sale. <laughs> after the sale, it's fine. Put the beast back in its cage. Is that what they're saying? <laughs> like Beauty and the Beast, it was a plushy. That she found in the back on the shelf and she liked it. So I told her she could just keep it. Yes. El Speedy Gonzalez. Andale, andale. Arriba, arriba. Why? Because he's like your husband? Fast? Yeah. Ah. Twice. <laughs> and Talbert's mom. I have to pray for Brian more now. Okay. Well, you ain't going to be able to get much else done if you're praying for me. Will that fit on your? <laughs> That's funny. Great. That way, that no, way. Brian, you cannot. Have, I'm gonna come to bed, and this is what's gonna be, be there. <laughs> and I'll be like, a little string, and you'll so. be like, honey, are you wanting to? And I'll be like, can't you tell he's on siesta? Sold, sold, sold. <laughs> Back up for thirty-seven. <laughs> he's sleeping right now. Leave him alone. <laughs> He's having a siesta. Sold. Sold, sold, sold. Brian, wake up. <laughs> okay. I can't put this box up here. I don't know what it is yet, but we're going to find out together. Oh, it looks like some Shackman stuff. Okay, so here's a couple Sonia Henny hanging ornaments. 
So three packs of those. Okay. What are these? Oh, Benjamin Bushytail Squirrels. These are in the embossed squirrel and Mary Lou Bushytail. Kathy Lawrence Creation. There's 12 pieces per package. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten packages of these Mary Lou Bushytail and Peter Bushytail, or Benjamin Bushytail, squirrels that are fully embossed, like paper doll things. Very squirrel, squirrel. So there's 10 dozen there, 120 pieces. And then there's three packs of these. And then these little boxes. Oh, they say something on them. Let's see. Here, I'll read it to you guys. It says, collector's hand-painted porcelain pouting <laughs> Sam doll. Thank you. Bless you. Pouting Sam doll. Porcelain, Pouting Sam doll. These are also all by Shackman. Let's see Pouting Sam. Aw, Pouting Sam's not happy. It's because he's not anatomically correct. Thank you, Shadow Woman. Look, <laughs> Thank you, Frank. He doesn't even have a crack in his butt. He's, no he's wonder. an alien. Alien. 1998 B. Shackman porcelain pouting Sam doll. No, leave those. I didn't think so. Yeah, those are like 500 bucks. So that's what you get. So there are three, four, there's a dozen of these pouting Sam dolls. They're all pouting Sam, right? Yes, no? Yeah, Pouting Sam. Let's just make sure they're the same. Yep, yeah, Pouting. They're all Pouting Sam dolls. Okay, so there's a dozen of these porcelain piano babies, is what I would call them, but Pouting Sam dolls, porcelain Pouting Sam dolls. There are 120 of those Benjamin Bushy Tail. Things. So there's 10 packs of 12 of the old Shackman Benjamin Bushytail and uh, three packs of six of Sonia Henney die cut pieces. And remember, shipping is included. 32 with green. And apparently, Shackman sells really well for people. Do this. Forty with Mr. Picky. Hi, Lone Star. Thirty-four with the, oh no, Mr. Picky at forty. Okay. Sorry. Did you want any of that? Or am I selling it? Let me think about this. We have forty-two with greens. We have fifty with Mr. Picky. So next bit will be fifty-five. We're at five dollar increments. the crappier of the items. <laughs> Do you want that hat for your wiener? <laughs> I had to put it on the top. It's not deep enough. <laughs> 55 with Nantique. <laughs> so I have 55 with Nantique, 60 with Mr. Picky. Spencer, yes. Uh, I'm not sure if you're still on mute or not. Spencer, we do have some brand new with tags clothing coming up. Yep, men's clothing. And there is a belt or there's a couple belts. And there's the a couple belts, she said. She made the lots, so I don't see the stuff or then I wind up holding stuff or keeping stuff, so they don't let me look anymore. Uh, Tim asked me if she, Brian doesn't want a shirt. I said, Greens no. is out. I said, make the lots. So I did. So we have 60 with Mr. Picky. Just 
only two, maybe three. Okay. That's your choice, though. So we have 60 with Mr. Picky. Thank you, and Nancy. For 65 or better. And there are 10 packs of the, the embossed squirrels. There's 10 in each pack. Or 12 in each pack, I'm sorry. Yes, Barbara Paul, we will have more comic books. We did two lots already, but we will have more comics. Sixty five with Rebecca. So sixty five with Rebecca. Squirrel. <laughs> Hi, Caddy. Seventy with Mr. Picky. I'll move these over here them with a lot of something. Okay, we're at 70 with Picky. Hi, Jill. So looking for 75. The little boxes are little porcelain like piano doll figures from Shackman. They're called pouting Sam dolls. See, they're like little porcelain pouting babies. I marked 1998 Shackman, which is, I think, the last year Shackman was around. So there's a dozen of these. They're like four inches tall. Very cute. Three more with with the ten of these and three of those. Okay, so how about we do this? Sixty five dollars a box. Whoever wants one, we can make four total boxes. We have four lots available, so we will give first shot to Mister Picky and Rebecca. Okay, and the first people that'll get one would be Rebecca and Mr. Picky. Cat D would also like one and Jill would like one. Okay, we're sold out. Sold out. Okay. Hang on. Rebecca, Cat D. Who else? Mr. Picky. And somebody else. Who else? Mr. Picky, Cat D, and Jill. Congratulations, guys. I just figure I'm happy with that number on these lots because the piano babies, I'm trying to move those. We have a big box of them over there. 65 per lot. Okay, so Pam said she can make four exact of this slot. Okay, I'll give that to Pam. That way Pam can figure that out. Okay. Let's do, here's some clothing. Let's do a clothing lot. Congratulations, guys. See that? How many other auctioneers roll the price backwards? Went from 75 back down to 65. Spencer, here's a belt. Brand new with tags, size extra large, genuine leather. Belt. Okay, it's piece number one. Piece number two is by Divided by H&M, extra large. It is a short sleeve. Short sleeve. 
short sleeve shirt by H and M. We have a Bruno Rossi 100% silk tie. Don't know who he is, but he's got a fancy name and he's got a fancy tie. We have another tie that is today's man, Roberto Cavalli. Roberto Cavalli. So there's two ties, a shirt, a belt. All of these clothes are brand new. Hollister. This is an older style tag. There's the original hang tag. This is a XXL. XXL. Hollister shirt. So I hear first. XXL Hollister. 100% cotton. Another nice Hollister shirt. Uh, this one is long sleeve. A long sleeve Hollister button up shirt. We have a pair of Banana Republic pants, or Banana Republic Gavin pants. These are a 36, 32 in size. I don't see a tag on these, but they're definitely never worn. I'm going to check inside the pockets to see the tags inside. I just wrote it as lot one striker. Okay, here's another Hollister company. Look at this tag. Hollister company, and here's the hang tag. So this is another double XL, and this is a also a long sleeve button up with the green birdie. Sure, no problem. Thank you, Becker. Look, there's a pocket scarf that matches this tie. Here's another Hollister shirt in XXL with the tags. And this one's also going to be a long sleeve button cuff. And then we have this pair of pants. That pair of pants. These are very nice and light and airy. Ooh, I like these. They feel nice. These are Gap Extra Large. Like I said, all of these clothes were brand new. Um, some of the tags have fell off just from being in the boxes and being stored for a long time. And these have like the zip up. Um, down at the, the bottom of the leg from like maybe the the ankle or the the calf the zippers. Yeah, these are nice. These are nice light and airy. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pieces plus the uh, the pocket scarf in this lot. Um, I don't know. There is large dress shirts coming, I think. Pam said she thinks there's some large dress shirts. She's the one who made the boxes. Um, we just kind of got together a little sample from a deal we're being offered. So we wanted to see how they did here at the auction to see if we should buy the deal or not. Um, and what we can pay for the deal based off, you know, the numbers that we averagely sell here to you guys. Because obviously, I don't want to buy stuff to list it. Bye, Christine. Uh, Spencer, they are old store stocks. So it's all old stock. I don't know about vintage, but they are. They're older, yeah. Well, there was T-shirts. There was a single-stitch T-shirt from Bajorn, so 90s. Cankle zippers on those pants. Yes, Nancy. They, they zip from like your calf down, like your knee down. Maybe you can fold them up and make like shorts out of them. See you, Christine. Oh, Shriker, we, we wrote it down as, as each lot to a different person, but we only counted as one lot number. Yeah, but you don't ever have to worry about that. We write all that stuff down on this end. Huh. 
Yep, 10 total pieces. So we're at 35 with, with Rhonda. We're at 35 for all the cool Hollister, Gap, and Banana Republic. And the, and the couple ties. The ties are actually really nice. Heck, this one tie had a... That was the original price on this one tie. Did not get any from that. No. We just have to make sure it's worth it. Yep. And there's the Bruno Rossi tie. I like ties for some weird reason. And there's the pocket scarf. I do. One. So what are we at? 35? 35 with, 35 with Rhonda. Yes. Shadow Woman. I got it. So looking for 40 or looking for 37. You'd be the candy man in those shirts, you know. The candy man can... <laughs> Who can make the sun rise? Sprinkle it the dew. What size were those shirts? XXL. Oh. Sold, sold, sold to Rhonda for $35. Congratulations, Rhonda. I think that was a great buy. I, uh, I think we sold a lot of the largest yesterday. Uh, I might have sold a lot of the largest yesterday, Spencer. Yeah, back to large, but not large. Hmm? <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Okay, Pam, let's go to another box. So I sold all four of your Shackman lots. Okay, so here's H&M. This is an extra large H&M, right? Here's the tag. Here's the hang tag. It's an extra large. Yeah, that's awesome. Nice button up. You know, I want to shop for my husband. He's watching. We buy all this stuff. Really nice tie. Jean Barnes. Jean Barnes. Jeez. Jean Barnes tie. Another tie by who's this one by? Today's man. Just says today's man. So there's two ties. Here's a third tie. So it's got pokey dots on it. This one is a Von Furstenberg. Tie. Actually, I like this one. Kind of reminds me of like Blue Flames. What? Blue Flames. Here's a nice leather belt from Jack's World. Leather belt. Not to be confused with Wayne's World. That one's a size 40. Leather belt. Here's a Banana Republic cotton linen in extra large. Long sleeve shirt. It's a nice looking shirt. Very preppy. A pair of Banana Republic Traveler like cargo pants, I think. Yeah, I'm I agree. Traveler pleated straight leg, Banana Republic 3634. 100% cotton, Banana Republic. All the tags. Mm -hmm. Nice. Grant Thomas, no iron, slim fit shirt. I think I, I like how it says, look, color, it says pink. Nice. 
That's not even near pink. It is blue. This one here is another H&M. This one is made in Turkey, extra large, 100% cotton, slim fit. Right there. With the tags. And we have a nice light and airy pink, extra large H&M with tags. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten pieces in this lot as well. Ten pieces of brand new with tags clothing. So we have 25 of Spencer. I don't like the orange ones. Yeah. <laughs> you gave it to me. I don't want it now, though. Oh, I'll get it out of the trash can <laughs> for you. <laughs> I don't really care for the orange ones either, but... Okay, we have 25 of Spencer looking for 27 or better. Ooh, yellow. I like yellow. Like yellow I got a lot of yellow. What happened? <laughs> that was David's number first. It's evil. Throw that out. <laughs> My wife's looking to sell you guys some wood. <laughs> I knew that was coming. It's a bag that's split up two by fours. Raise your hand if you want a motion. <laughs> I should get that to maybe Cali for a Starburst or Starburst. I'm going to use that. No. He kicked his hand. Use that for the stall. He's going to put metal on it. Orange Starburst. Oh, I don't like them. <laughs> so we're at 25 with Spencer. Okay, looks like we're going to be sold. See, mini Starburst. Mini Starburst. Sold, sold, sold to Spencer for 25. Awesome buy, Spencer. Couldn't have bought one of those shirts for that. Let me throw it away. Yeah. Okay. David didn't like the table being so sore, so he put it up to prop it up. Yeah. <laughs> but then he had to sit on his tippy toes. <laughs> Hopefully at least one more. The belt's really nice. Yeah, the belt looks good. And it is leather. There you go. Yeah, I'll do this when you wear it. Okay. How about we do some comic books for you guys? Okay, this is. Oh, might be lagging a little bit. This is what's left in that box. Generation X. Generation X, number 59. This is the third, fourth, fifth, six. Unless you were bidding on our starters. Seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. These are all Generation X. Fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's kind of interesting. 21, 22, 23, 24. So there's 24, and I have another box here. I don't know what's in it, but we have another box. So there's 24 books so far. Grab a stack. Okay. Book number 25, 26, 
27, Brave and the Bold, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, it's a green lantern, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, Justice Society, 46, 47, Justice League, 48, 49, and 50. And I'm going to add one more just in case. So you get 50 books, all in amazing condition. Yeah, drop my headset again. They can't hear you. It should be back, guys. I don't know why it keeps dropping. You guys should be able to hear me now. Should be able to hear me. Yep. So there's 50, a little over 50 books. 50 with Van. In this slot. Van is in at 50. Thank you, Van. Can you hear me? Can you hear him? <laughs> so we have 50 with Van. Looking for 55 or better on this lot. Awesome. These are good. We can definitely huh? said so these are good. So we have fifty with Van looking for fifty five. Go ahead and start counting it down. Fifty five with Rebecca. Looking for sixty. Oh, we'd like to thank everybody who is here for being here. You guys are great. Hope everybody's having a good day. And hopefully we'll show you guys something that you're interested in. You never know what we're going to bring to the auction. Because I don't know. I'm trying not to tell you. I know. It's a secret. Okay, going. So are we counting it down? Uh, it's a thumbs up. 
55 with Rebecca. Count it down, Striker. Count it down. Thank you so much, Striker, for helping us. Yes. Pam said, thank you so much, Talbert's mom and Stryker, for helping us. You guys are great. We definitely appreciate it. We miss our Janine, but sometimes people just don't feel well. And, and we hope they get a speedy recovery and feel better. Sold, sold, sold. Sold, sold, sold. Congratulations, Rebecca. Okay, let's do whatever's on this tray. Oh, these are the Lions Club banners from Osaka Maidosuji, Japan. Osaka Maidosuji. Osaka Maidosuji. Osaka Maidosuji. Osaka Maidosuji. And Osaka Maidosuji. Japan. These are probably 60s. These are like painted on silk, almost like they would do like the kimonos. Lions Club banners. That's number two. Here's number three with the cool dragon head. Funabashi Kida. Funabashi Kida. Number three. Number four. Rakata, Japan. Number five. Number six, these are all from Lions Club International, all vintage, all minty condition. This one's really old. Atsuji, the awesome fish. Saka West, this one's like all done in like metallic thread. It's really cool. Narrow West, Japan. 1888 89. This is a newer one, but from Japan. Eighteen eighty two, eighty three, And on the back is obviously Japanese character writing. Lines International District 308. Lions Club International. The governor is Harachiran Singh Sethi, and it is signed by him right here. 1980. Osaka Awajai. Awajai. So these are all silk. These are really awesome. Okishima. Pick from the bottom of the pile. Lions International. Wow, look at this one. Yeah, this one's really awesome. Kyoto. Reminds me of, like the belts for the kimono dresses. It's really cool. Tosu. Junction. Lions Club. Philippines, Lions Club. Suida Senri, Osaka, Japan. I just like saying the names. Gobo. 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 Japan. Lions Club International World Headquarters, Illinois. Plainfield Township, PA Lions Club. Another one of those, another one, and another one. So you get all of those banners for one money. Some very cool ones. I think the Japanese ones are really awesome. So there are four. 
five US ones. Got six, seven, eight, nine, Kobo, ten. I'm not expecting that mess up there with the book. I was trying to what the book was. That's on <laughs> yeah. 12. 13. Wasn't expecting that either. 14. 15. 16. 17. 18. 19. 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, do it this way, 25, 26, 26. So we're going to say 25 and maybe you get an extra one. But 25 or 26 Lions Club banners, mostly from Japan. So we have KPs in at 25. Or 30, whatever. So if KPN at 30, looking for 32 or better. So looking for 32 or better on all of the Lions Club banners. We're at less than a dollar a piece. Well, no, we're at about a dollar a piece with shipping. 40 with Greg. Hi, Greg. Good to see you. Greg, you've been busy this week. So at 40 with Greg, and there's 25 or 26 of the banners. Most of them are Japan, except for like five. So we have 42 with KP. KP's Uniquities. Greg is in at 45. So what? Okay. Go for her to put stuff. All she's got to do is just put a label on the shelf she's on. I guess she clears it. And just say done. And we know just to pull it. So we have KP in at 50. Greg is out. Thank you for your bids, Greg. So KP is in at 50. Looking for 55. Yeah, that was probably Amazon, honey. No. Oh, was it? How much? I'm going to check in. Okay. Do you have Amazon on your computer, Sam? Yes, I think so. Okay. Because I have it online. Yeah. But I didn't put the new log in for me. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to check in and see if it's online. And as you do the, the shelves, honey, all you got to do is just put a sticker on the shelf saying done. You don't have to bring this stuff up. Okay, I'll just try and clean it off the shelves. So that way it just saves you time. Okay. We're not doing comics yet, Anthony. No comics yet. Uh, we, we did some lots of comics earlier. Um, I haven't done any of the graded stuff yet. Sold, sold, sold for, to Iniquities for $50. Congratulations, Iniquities. But we will be doing a graded book in a very short amount of time. Probably do one in about 20 minutes. A couple more lots first, and then we'll go to a graded book. Okay, so here is, there's a cross in there. And then there's a medallion charm coin thing. Guardian angel. And then cross with a rose. 
guess that would be considered a rosary. It's a bracelet with like Madonna on it. And a clear back. I'm not sure what the clear back thing is. Here's a necklace. This is marked Sarah Coventry. As a slide through heart with a little diamond chip in it there. And white mother of pearl on the back. You have a, another bracelet, or a necklace, sorry. This one has, it almost looks like the An Ar Anger letter A right there. That's what it reminds me of. And then we have this here. Mm -hmm. I don't, I can't read it. Rebecca and a 25. It's a bracelet and a watch. This is another, oh, this is awesome. Look at this thing. Look at this. Yeah, it's bad. It's pretty cool. Yeah, let's see what it's marked. I see the <laughs> magnifier. It's pretty neat. It is marked 316 LSS. 316 LSS is what's marked on the back of it. I'm looking to see if there's any other markings. But very, very cool. Look how shiny it is. And those are the black stones. Very, very cool. So that bracelet's really awesome. And the black stones are even open in the backs to let light into them. have a ring this is probably sterling yeah i see a, a 925 marking on the inside it's got some kind of a little like reddish orange stone in it here is a watch it's got a rubber band on it A bracelet with some charms. Cried. 27 with Donna. Yeah. I believe in angels. I have the Mara. I have one in heaven. Very cool. Believe in angels charm bracelet. It's a 36 inch necklace by probably Monet, would be my guess. Here is another necklace. Let's see. It is Monet. Yeah, stay in there. And it's got like a little pearl and red stone. What's up? Not much. 45 with Rebecca, 47 with Donna, 55 with Rebecca. There's a really pretty necklace. My little angels. And then the last one in this box is this awesome ring. Let's see what this one says. 60 with Donna. This one's marked 925. And then GP. So it's silver with gold plate, maybe. Thailand. And it's got purple. 70 with Rebecca. Purple stones. With like little diamond flake around them. That's really pretty. Doesn't really say anything in the box. Other than JTV. And that's what you get in this lot. Okay, the reason 
that I'm putting them on the shelf is so that they don't get mixed up. You just want me to put a sticky note on the thing that says auction, if it's going to auction. You can just, yeah, I mean, you're doing it shelf by shelf, right? Correct, but not everything on the shelf gets put to auction. Oh, okay. That's why yeah. I've been pulling it and saying it aside so it doesn't get mixed up. Okay. Maybe some room on the silver shelf back there. Yeah, like so you can just move over there then. Okay. I don't know how long. Just versus filling up here. Well, I'm just doing that so you can just put it on the table right away. Um, and I had run out of space on the silver shelf. Okay. Did you just do that or did you do that? I just did that. Okay. Yeah. So I can put some more stuff there. I figured you were running out. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I'm like, where do I go? 85 with Donna. <laughs> Okay, there's your tray of jewelry. Hi, Donna. Rebecca is out. Thank you for your bids, Rebecca. Thank you, Rebecca. Go ahead and start counting it down. There's one in the office. It's covered with stuff. But I think that's it. I think we only have two. Well, we have one. Well, we have the big metal one back there. So I think we're going to be sold. To Donna Shriver for 85. Might be moving it too fast. Sorry, just look back. <laughs> okay, sold to Donna Shriver for 85. Thank you, Donna. Okay, how about those pub jugs? So these are from advertising for different liquors. And these went to like pubs, imported black velvet Canadian whiskey. Porcelain. Here's Four Roses Premium pitcher right there. American Whiskey, a blend of 80 proof. Seagram's VO Canadian. Both sides. This says Old Crow. Kentucky Straight Whiskey, bourbon, pub jug, pottery. And then the last one slot is Jameson Irish Whiskey. And this one is by Arklow, made it in Republic of Ireland, Ironstone. So you get all five pitchers for your bid. And remember, shipping is included in the U.S. I really like the old crow one. It's like a stoneware like Bennington pottery look to it. Welcome in hoop. So let's go with a $25 start. You get all five and shipping is included. TNT is in at 25. Hi TNT. Welcome into the auction. So we're looking for 27. Will be the next bid. We have TNT at 25. 27 with Rebecca. If you guys are here and you're interested in the graded comics, can you just type in graded comic so that I know that we have a few people in that would be interested? So Kyle Turan, Greg, anybody else that's interested in graded comics, just please type in graded comics so that I know I have a few people interested and then I can bring those. So we're at 30 with Silverhair Stacker. Hi, Silverhair.
Okay, so Chris Eisel's interested in graded, graded comics. Mark Johnson's interested in graded comics. We're at 32 with True North. Hi, Josh. Josh is interested in the graded comics. So. It's a different one. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So we have three people interested in graded comics, four people, Barbara Paul. Cat D, are you still here? I know you like that stuff. And Carrie or Kyle Turan, Greg, Van Owsley. And you guys just make sure that you let me know you're still here. So we are at $32 with TNT, looking for $34 or better. Mr. Hot Wheels. Okay. So we'll do a graded comic next. And as always, I hide what I paid for it, and I let you guys just start it out at whatever. So we have Silver Harry in at 35. Rebecca is out. I don't know if it's that long, but bottom of the greenish one. Yeah, the old crow. Yeah, which is awesome. Look at this. It's embossed. It's almost like a Bennington pottery. It's got crazy lines, but they're in the actual firing process. See? There's tape from a sticker. And we have 77 people here. We'd like to thank all of you for being here. You guys are great. Hope you guys see something that you're interested in. And if not, I hope you guys have a good laugh and enjoy the auction. Learn something, maybe. So we're at 37 with TNT. Go ahead and start counting it down, Striker. KPs, let us know if you're out. Going once, 37. And again, shipping is included in the United States with your bids. KP's in at 39. Okay, KP's in at 39. Looking for 41 would be the next bid. Okay. Gate Pease is out or at 41 with TNT. Okay. Go ahead and count it down. What else is that going to be? Is it military? It is probably Girl Scouts. Okay. It's probably like a for Brownie Scout. Is it a Clinton or Beret, though? It would probably be a Beret, yes. But I'm pretty sure it's a Brownie Scout. So you can just type in Scout Hat or Scout Beret Scout. See what you get. So we're at 41 with TNT, going twice. <laughs> they 
like this. One more of those. <laughs> okay. We do have some more of these then, guys. And then I'm going to hear Thomas. Yep. So congratulations, TNT. Gold, gold, gold. Thank you, TNT. $41. Okay. I'm going to grab a comic book for you guys. So since we know that there's a Moon Knight comic com or a Moon Knight movie coming out, we'll do this one because these are good investment. So this is a CGC graded 9.2. This is from 1980 with white pages, which is good. This is issue number one in a 9.2 condition. Moon Knight number one. I will cover what I paid. Show you guys the back. White pages. And we're going to let you guys start it wherever you want, and then I show you guys what I paid for it after the bidding settles down. So, can this? We're at 75 for Chris. With Chris. Hi, C. How are you doing? Um, on a part one forty with Greg. Okay. Cat, the number is one. Number one. There you go. Oh, Stryker's helping. Yep. Oh, cool. Yep. Calvert's mom helped and then Stryker. She needs me some typing. Yeah, it, it makes it a little easier. Because they're seeing it in more real time. Mm -hmm. There you go, guys. Nine point two grade Moon Knight number one premier issue. Don't break his computer. <laughs> no, um, I think it's definitely weird. I want to make sure it's not like. Yeah. Yeah. Two hundred and ten. <laughs> no. We're at 200 with Cat Z. Come on, you guys. Awesome comic. It's graded a 9.2 from CGC Universal. And it's first issue, number one. Last, I just saw your comment. Um, there, there is Wade mixed in with some of the lots of whiskey drugs. But we don't have them separated out. Looking for anybody else. Chris, Greg, or Mark. 1980. 
Marvel Comics Group. Comics are really hot right now. Drag it out. They can drag for your bed. Especially right now, Disney's doing a bunch of mini series. Camera tilted. Sorry, guys. That was driving me nuts. Okay, there we go. This is out. Your bed's for us. Look, guys, it's sealed in a hard case, too. Going on. Um, he usually shows. I don't know. Well, maybe he's just gonna tell him. I think no, AC is really hot. Yeah, I bet. Going twice. Well, this is, are you looking for that? I was, I was looking if he had to have the tag on how much he pays and then it shows. Oh. Oh, you mean this? No, wait. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. Oh, Rebecca, I'm sorry to hear that. Probably have been up for quite a while. Does he want me to show it? Should I show it? I mean, I turned the thing around, so they probably did see it. Mm -hmm. Fair warning. <laughs> yep, it's all the shopping. All right, sold, sold, sold to Kathy for 200 Thank you, Kat. Right. You want us to tell them how much you paid for this? $200. There you go. There's Brian's price. Yep. 145 145. Okay. There's a bar. Kathy. Kathy. Okay. Let's put this one up. Congratulations, Kat. Okay. If you guys know this one. So it ties with Amazing Spider Man number 252 for the first appearance of the black costume. Daredevil and Black Widow appearance. So it's the one of the first appearances of Spider-Man in a black costume. This is a 9.4, so this is actually even a better grade than that Moon Knight was. A better book. This is from 1984, right there, and it has white pages. So I got both of these books this weekend. I happen to own a 9.6 in this, which is why I have it for sale to you guys, and I own a 9.4 or a 9.6 in the Moon Knight. So I keep upgrading, and I almost bought a 9.6 Star Wars 1, but he wanted a lot of money for that. No way. Yeah, you're The Marvel team up number 141, 9.4. Yeah, put up this one. Oh, yeah, Mark, that book is insane. Uh, nine, I'd love to have a 9.4 of that world by night. I mean, it's probably a $10,000 book. And you we have Kathy at Mark at 25, Kathy in at 100. You could have bought that world by night a year ago for about three grand. The 9.4 or 9.6, and now it's 10 to 12,000. Great. So we have 100 with Cat D. 100 with Cat D, 125 with Chris Eisel. 
And as always, I will show you what I paid at the end. And I, whenever I buy these, obviously I'm getting a good deal. But this is, I love this cover for this book. So the Neil Adams cover. Or R. Adams, I'm sorry. Mike Magnola. And I think it's really cool. It's got Black Widow with the new movie coming out. This book keeps going up in value. We're at 220 with Todd Miller. We got white pages. Hi, Todd. Hi, Todd. We're at 230 with Ann. In by just a second. We have 288 with MC, looking for 298 or better. I will tell you guys that the Star Wars 1 in 9.6 that I was offered this past week was $1,200 for me to buy it. And we may have some other graded books tomorrow. The possibility. I'm supposed to go look at some later today. Oh, awesome text. Yeah, I mean, I have a 9.2 or a 9.4 in the office, but there's a 9.6, so I could upgrade and then I would bring the other one to you guys here. Some of them are back. So we're at 320 with Van and for 330 or better. I love any of this stuff. I mean, with all the Venom movies, you know, they're going to make another Spider Man movie, Spider Verse movie, the second one, Black Widow. This is all great investment stuff, especially graded. Count it down. Go ahead and count it down. We're at Whoopsie. You carry those things once. Going twice. It's going to be sold to Van Owsley at 320. Spider-Man. It's been here last Friday. 9.4. I was throwing stuff down. White paint. 35 with Cat D with the 45 or butter. It didn't break anything. Today, I didn't break anything. Last week, I was knocked the glass out for some reason. Every time I set something down, it fell off the shelf. Drop your phone today. The fan. Oh, yeah, that is. Chips. 335 with Cat D 
looking for 345 or better. Not enough for him. Go ahead and count it down, Breaker. Um, I would guess that it's just you because I haven't seen anybody else say anything about it. It did go out earlier though. So once 335 of Cat D, looking for 345 or better. I did just get a call about 200 long boxes of books. This is where it goes crackle, crackle, crackle. There's nine number 300s in that lot. No rhyme. That's 200 long boxes. No rhyme. And they are unread condition. No rhyme. Like 20 gram with the books right there. You can only so get them as if you get rid of 200 long boxes that are back there. No rhyme. Or 300 boxes of clothing. Oh, I'm trying to get rid of those. I don't even need to do what I said. Okay. Okay. Bye. Yeah, it looks like we are sold, sold, sold for 335 to Cat D. So Congratulations, Kat. <laughs> what? I do know that Calvert's mom. <laughs> what? Because you cannot hear a nice the body. <laughs> Unless it's worth raising. Okay. These are more of the pub jugs. It's a Seagram Seven Crown porcelain uh, pottery. Here is White Horse Scotch. Really awesome stylistic container. White Horse Blended Scotch. Piper's Scotch. I've never heard of that one. 100 Piper's Scotch. Never heard of that one. This one's an awesome, like, you see, like, the earthenware look to it. That must remind me of, like, Brush McCoy. 100 Piper's Scotch. This one's got Piper's on it. 100 Piper's Piping. This one is by King... Kingwood Ceramics, East oh. Palestine, Ohio. <laughs> and then the last one is the neatest one, in my opinion. It's like a knight's helmet. Chris, are you asking the price on the pub mug? I think he wants to know what I paid for the Spider-Man. Oh. Valentine's Scotch Whiskey. I'll show it to you in just a second, guys. Valentine's Scotch Whiskey. Done with like an awesome... There is a tiny flaker right there. The on the pottery, but that's cool. I paid. What did I pay for this one? Two twenty. Actually, I paid two hundred. Yeah, the price at two twenty. To get the five pub mugs for your bid. Uh, got 70 people here. Awesome. As always, guys, we definitely appreciate everybody for watching. Now, your friends, if you guys are ever looking for inventory, we've got it. We're going to sell it. We're planning on moving. Our house clothing closing is August 16th. So we're trying to sell as much as we can prior to that. Just so that we can keep having less to move. Lagging a bit. And said she's 
lagging a little bit. She lifted up her frog. Shut up. Oh, I thought you said lagging, not sagging. Yeah, I'm sorry. Hi, Carl. Hi, Carl. Carl, you just missed the comic book. Look, Carl, you just missed him. You just missed him, Carl. Any interest on the pug pub? Hug mugs. <laughs> TNT, anybody else? For a $25 start, five pub mugs. Porcelain barware. My collection. I'm very excited about this, guys. Any interest in the pub mugs? Bitter pass. Bitter pass. Oh, ha ha. Thank you, MC. Yay. I'm going to start putting these away. Unless somebody bids $25, they're going to be removed from the warehouse. You guys will never see these again. Passing. Passing. We should make smash videos. I don't think we saw them at the market. <laughs> take them. I am. I'll put them with the other 10,000 things you can hold me to take. Other 10,000? Mm hmm. Well, here. I like this one. I, I do too. Okay, jewelry lot. Let's do a jewelry lot. Actually, let's do a double jewelry lot. Double jewelry lot. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Probably a good thing we didn't sell those. Almost didn't make it. Okay, so you get two trays of jewelry this time. Because. Last time, last trade jewelry did, did was really did well. Look at the glass; it's like Murano glass, like art glass. Super cool bracelet. There is a necklace. This is. Let's see if I can make out what the tag says. Tag on this says HS that side and Avon on this side. So this has like a little egg, almost like a little Fabergé type egg on it. Necklace. It's been inside of this box here. We got this watch. Got the Boscov's tag. Inside. I really can't make it out. Let's see what Boscov's tag comes. It looks very faded. Can't even read the tag. Nope. Just the shop online at Boscov. That's it. 185 with Scotty. Thank you, Scotty. Oh, check this out. There's a necklace with an owl. Woo! Woo! Mr. Buys a lot, that's who. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, you got a bracelet here. This is Sterling, I'm pretty sure. Yep, 925. So this is a Sterling bracelet right here. Or tiny, tiny necklace, but I'd say it's a bracelet. And you're going to get both trays in this lot. It's 
So this is a necklace, has a little pendulum style medallion in the center with three initials. <laughs> yes, it's sterling. This one is probably not sterling. It doesn't say sterling anyway. There's that. These are really pretty. These are glass of some sort. Ashley Cooper collection on each one of these. Look, they're so shiny, like shiny. Ooh, ah. This is marked. I don't know what that marking is, but one of you guys might know. Put that a marking. I need to find glass to see if it's any better for me. Maybe it says guess. Guess story. Or guess what it is. So this goes up here. Such. And then this is the necklace here. Double band necklace. Genuine coral. Obviously, not the correct baggy for the item that's in it. Sterling silver, not coral. So, there's a sterling silver heart and a necklace that goes with it. Sterling silver there. There is a necklace. Emons is what it says on the catch. Emons, E M M O N S. Like a teardrop shape thing. Emons. Here are three rings. Right here. Do you think it's a set, or do you think it's just like three rings of the same? We're not sure if it was a set or if it just happens to be three of the same ring. So. And it is Mark 925. 29, Scotty. FZN. So it's very shiny. Got like little stone chips, and they are Mark 925. So all three of those are 925. And then we need one. Here's a Geneva watch. Here is some kind of a little charm, I guess, would go on something. Charm. And then uh, this one's really neat. You would need 31. Wait, this. I need the box. I, can, I don't have anything else. Ah, I think I see who this is. Ooh, this is a good company. 32 with Donna. 35 with Rebecca. So this is a good piece of costume jewelry. 37 with Donna. This is Trafari. And it's a large piece of Trafari. I've heard of this company. So there's the Trafari. Yeah, it's very cool, very mod. A nice slide on it. Stones. Nice, heavy, heavy slide. And here's another necklace. With like little silvery, uh, or little uh, glass beads. Okay, so you get, Adana. you get all of that plus. This is Sterling. This is Guess. It's like a uh, art class. Hooters. You get all of that plus you're gonna get this jewelry here. 
you're going to get both trays of jewelry for one money. I'll give you both. So the next piece is this. Let's see. This is also Trafari. This is very cool. Sexy Madonna. Uh, this. It's like a big sunflower, and it's got like these stones. It's purple, like amethyst stones going around. I miss the treasure chest. So this is a Trafari I can't see you see you necklace. Don't be shy. So a nice Don't slide. Be Don't be shy. Relativity, another necklace. Get that. Back in at 75, Donna in at 80. Here is another probably silver necklace. Oh, look, another awesome piece of Trafari. Trafari. 85 with Rebecca, 90 with Donna. It has a giant heart with stones. Another piece of Trafari. That's a lot. Another funky watch. The rubber band. 95 with Rebecca. 100 with Donna. A couple necklaces in here. $10 increments, please, now. Yep, we're at $10 increments, guys. I believe to accomplish great things, we must not only act, but also imagine. Not only plan, but also believe. So this is a, like, slide charm or a slide necklace. With different words. Cool. Uplifting. See if this does anything. I don't see any markings on this necklace at all. It's just a little silverish, real thin necklace there. One time with Rebecca. This one has one point with Donna. Like little blue stones on it. It's this one. This looks like a roulette wheel. See, see you, Phil. <laughs> Just like a roulette wheel. That's really cool. This one here looks to be like this is sterling. Piece of turquoise. And then I don't know about the necklace itself, but the pendant is definitely sterling. 140 with Donna. Here's another one. Thank you, Scotty, for your bid. I'm combining them into one tray. Okay. So the little green stones in that one. That one goes in there. Have a little cross, a angel pen. This is awesome. Look at this string. It's got two layers. So this the bottom part of the ring right here has these purple amethyst stones underneath this amethyst. <laughs> and this is probably 925. 150 with Rebecca, 160 with Donna. How pretty this is. <laughs> the sparkly. Oh, shiny. Sorry, I get carried away with the shiny stuff. Rebecca is out. Thank you for your bid, Rebecca. And then here's an Oryx. Watch this be something great. Oryx, <laughs> Queen of Diamonds. Watch in the box. There's the box. <laughs> That's what you get in the slot. Nice big lot of jewelry. Where are we at? 150 with Donna? 160 with Donna? Okay. What did Kyle do? Kyle is narrating for us. <laughs> Rebecca is laughing too hard. <laughs> 
Down for the count. Down for the count. And in this point, we have 105 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going twice. Sold, sold, sold to Donna Shriver for one sixty. Okay, and put this up here. Okay, so these are just Stackman Christmas balls. So here's a pair of balls. <laughs> Two pairs of balls. How many balls are in this box? Five. There's four, five, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. That's a big set of balls. Sixteen, eighteen. Twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-five. Thirty-five balls in this box. <laughs> Think of all the poor unfortunate. You get thirty-five of the Shackman balls. People love these for Christmas trees. Yep. <laughs> I don't know how you're going to fit all these in there to ship. <laughs> that was funny. Well, I, yeah, you're the one who's got to figure out how to ship them. You put them all in there. I would I'd keep these at 32 generally, so if we can get them in there nice and easy. You don't keep that's what I just said. I said you should keep them at 32. They have little Santa Clauses on them. They're Shackman. The bow tie at the top. So $15 start. So we are 20, what was that? 25? 25. 25 with Christine. <laughs> cling, 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 cling. So 25 with Christine, looking for 27.
27 with TNT. Now, these are from the Shackman stuff. They're just like little Christmas balls. They're made out like, uh, I don't know, They're like a paper covering. Little horns and holly and little Santa Clauses. Twenty-nine with me. Yeah, they're from the Shackman stuff. TNT is out. Carefully over here, carefully. They'll come in this box. They're not breakable. They're not blue and they're not breakable. Go once. Nope, she already has them in her purse. <laughs> Becca said, well, do you hand them to your spouse in a silver platter? And I said, nope, sorry, got them on her purse. True. Sold twenty nine dollars, Christine O'Brien. Hey, Lou Raider, good to see you. Haven't seen you in a while. So, here's fifty comics out of this box that I have right here. Kind of interesting because this is not for resale. So, was it originally for sale? Well, these are zero. It was a free comic, maybe? That's weird. So there's one, two, three, four, five, lots of Superman, six, seven, eight, nine. This one's really cool. Thank you, girl. 11, Omega the Unknown. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, Captain America, 17, Superman, 18, Will Eisner, 19, 20, 21, Action Comics, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and then these are Trinity from DC, 27, which is Batman, Wonder Woman, and Superman, 28, 29, 30, these are unread, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, I don't want to read these, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 44, 45, 46. These are all first edition or first printings. 47, 48, 49, 50. And I threw in an extra one just in case I was off on the count by one. So 50 total comics. 
Most of them are all DC. Uh, all yeah, all DC. Superman and Batman and Wonder Woman titles. So fifty books in the slot. Right, twenty. Yep, we're at twenty-five with Barbara. Okay, twenty-five with Barbara. And they are all in minty, minty, minty condition. Forty-four with Greg Lost. Hi, Greg. Where you been? Greg's like out. Actually, working and stuff. Not hanging out with us. Back in at fifty. Back in at fifty. Barbara in at fifty-five. Great, Sal. Greg. Sixty. MC's in at sixty-six. You guys want to try some early, like early Marvel and DC and tomorrow, like some Silver Age stuff. So we're at sixty-six with MC. So next bid would be seventy-one. Seventy-one for the next bid. We have. MC and it's 62. There you go. 72 with Barbara. We have 72 with Barbara. Barbara, your high bid at 72. We need 77 would be the next bid, guys. 77 is the next bid. $5 increments. Barbara Paul in at 72. 77 would be the next one. 77 with Frank. 99 MC. MC at 99. Vintage then at 105. 105 with Vintage Treasures. And in advance, one of five with vintage treasure. And what? Yeah, all one of five looking for one fifteen. Okay. Don't be a hard lot to let go. Go ahead and count it down.
122 with MC. One thirty two with vintage. One thirty two with vintage treasures. One forty four MC Vintage is out. So I can count it down. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting you guys together another lot of 50. Spider-Man PG number one, Sweet Charity. Spider-Man Marrow, Collector's Item, One Shot. Not sure what that means. Annual Spider-Man One. Spider-Man Horror Returns, Venom is back. Amazing Spider-Man with Mephisto on the cover. That's very cool. It's number 545, first printing, first Spider-Man first edition there. Put this on the back. Ultimate Fantastic Four one. Uh, Barbara in at twenty-five. Superman six. Superman one. Spider-Man Marvel Knights. Batman Detective. Batman with Poison Ivy on the cover. Batman six eighty-six. Batman six eighty-four Detective. And then these are like graphic novels. DK2, Dark Knight 2, I believe. Dark Knight Strikes Again. These are Frank Miller. Yep, Frank Miller. This is a bound like uh, graphic novel book. Frank Miller. Dark Knight Strikes Again. Batman vs. Predator. Again, graphic novel. Batman vs. Predator, graphic novel. JLA, Hitman, Dark Side, issue one and issue two. A little more vintage, Batman Detective Comics 556. Kyle Baker, I Die at Midnight, graphic novel. Number 171, Daredevil, Bronze Age. Early Bronze Age with Nova, Amazing Spider-Man number 171. 
Marvel Spider-Man number 561. Fantastic Four Ultimates, number two, number three. ESR, two, not sure what that is. Marvel Knights, Marvel Knights, 22. Azrael, 43. Azrael, 42. Azrael, 32. 31. I think he was like a, the bad version of Batman. Number 29. Number 26, 25, 24, and then this is the rest of those Trinity books from DC. Trinity 7, Trinity 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. That's what you get in this lot. There's 50 or 51 books. Greg in at 60. Greg. Right? So the next bit would be 65. 65. We have Frank in at 70. Seventy. Red eighty with Frank. Eighty, Frank. Greg is out. Eighty five with Barbara. Frank is in at ninety. MC in at one oh one. One eleven with Vincent Treasures. Okay, we got one eleven with Vincent Treasures. One twenty eight with MC. MC. Looking for 138 would be our next bid. <clears throat> 138 for Venture Treasures. Looking for 148. For one forty eight, good one fifty with MC. One sixty with vintage treasures.
172 with MC. All right, full to MC for 172. Uh, too many more comments in that line. 30 to 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7. You guys are going to like this, 38. Nine, forty, forty one, forty two, forty four, forty five, forty seven, forty eight, forty nine, fifty. Okay, fifty more books. I think I might have one more stack of fifty left in that box, and that box is empty. Bill and Ted's excellent comic book number two. Bill and Ted's excellent comic book number three. Big change up. 12 cent cover action comics number 304. Action comics number 292. Silver H. Action comics number 310. Action comics number 342. Body count, I don't know who that one is. Air cell number two, air cell number one, body count. Gun Fury Returns, number four, number three. Gun Fury Returns, number one and number two. So there's all four of those. Flash from the Brave and the Bold and Doom Patrol. Brave and the Bold seven, Wonder Woman and Power Girl. Batman and Robin, the Joker cover. That's a really cool Joker cover. Thunderbolts. Amazing Spider-Man, number 544. That one's really cool. Thunderbolts, number 118. There's two of those. Thunderbolts, Breaking Point. Ren and Stimpy, number two. Number three. Number four. Number nine. It's Ren and Stimpy. The Demon, number five. Free Air Fowler enclosed. Open this bag, secret message uncover. <laughs> Issue number one, still mint in package. Comes with the, uh, the scratch and sniff sticker. And look, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, issue number one. They made a movie about this. Bill and Ted's Excellent, comic book number one. Made a movie about that. Amazing Spider Man. New Gods number six, five, four, three, two, and New Gods issue number one. Outsiders, Batman and the Outsiders, Molly and a Batman and the Outsiders, more Outsiders, Ultimates number three, 
Ultimate Iron Man number one. Ultimate Iron Man number two. Two. Black Adam issue number one. Number three. Ultimate X Men. Ultimate X Men. Ultimate X Men. Ultimate X Men. And you Ultimate X Men. So you get all of those books for your bid. We have four Silver Age action comics. Marvel in at 55, then season of 101. Twenty with Frank. Frank. Listen, one more comic lot. One twenty, Frank. No problem, Barbara. One thirty-five with Todd Miller. One forty five with Frank. <laughs> no. <laughs> One twenty with Bell. Cal's calling it out for a low blow. Sixty-five Miller. <laughs> one sixty with Todd. One seventy or more. Frank is out. Here comes Frank. And guys, tomorrow we're gonna have some more graded books. I think we're gonna get more graded books. I'm going to look at some tonight. So I'm gonna see what I can pick up. have a nice long box that has a bunch of Silver Age superhero stuff in it. And Bronze Age for tomorrow. Okay. Right. We're at 170 with Vintage Treasures. He's actually the nice the vintage treasures at 170. Todd Miller is out. It's too late.
Miles. Treasures for one seventy. Five, six or seven, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, three, thirty four, thirty five, six, not forty, forty one. So I need to go get nine more books. Kim's gonna show you guys what's in these here. I'll go get nine more books this lot here and then the box will be empty all right everybody no that helps <laughs> all right we got demon 19 demon 20 demon 21 Demon 22. E Ellipso or Eclipso. Eclipso. Number one. Eclipso two. Eclipso three. Eclipso four, Eclipso five, Bill and Ted's excellent comic book number 11, Bill and Ted's excellent comic book number nine, Bill and Ted's excellent comic book number eight, Bill and Ted's number seven. Bill and Ted's six. Sorry, guys, I bumped the camera. Bill and Ted's five. Bill and Ted's four. Demon 11. Demon 17. Ooh, he's making out with Wonder Woman. Demon 18. Demon 6. Demon 8. Demon 9. Demon 10. War of the Gods 3. Those are more graphic novel than they are comic, but Dark Horse comics. Al aliens, tribes. Like a graphic novel. Ryan says it's a graphic novel. That one's definitely a graphic novel. And this one's a graphic nom novel, John Burns, yep. Next Men, book one. War of the Gods 4, Armageddon 2001, number 2, Armageddon the Alien Agenda 1, Armageddon Alien Agenda 2, Armageddon Alien Agenda 3, you can just say number four. Oh. Okay, number four. Especially if they're not the same. Armageddon Inferno 1. 
two, three, four, blood and guts, gun fury, ten. Gun Fury 2, Gun Fury 3, 4, 5, 7. Okay, and then because we were missing 7 books after you had those 2 graphic novels, I just grabbed a small stack out of the box for tomorrow. You got Adventure Comics, 12 cent cover, number 371. Silver Age Adventure Comics, number 372. Silver Age Lois Lane, Superman's Hi, Girlfriend. Turtle. Oh, look, Superman's Girlfriend, issue number 100. That one's awesome. Lois Lane, or Adventure Comics. That's the 44th MC. Adventure Comics, number 326, another Silver Age book. Number 365 has an awesome cover, Escape of the Fatal Five. Action Comics, number 442. 55 with Rebecca. Action Comics, 441. Action Comics, 395. Girl Mightier Than Superman. So you're at about a hundred, or you're at about 52 comics total, or 52 books total. And I'm going to add a surprise in the slot once we get to a certain point. So we're at 66 with MC, looking for 76 to be the next bid. There's some nice Silver Age books, about eight Silver Age books. Greg, Greg found a way to put in 88. <laughs> 88 with Greg, 101 with MC. Okay. You guys have hit the number for me. So this is from the Marvel Mania fan club. This is an uncut, unused 1967 sticker sheet. So they had like a, a glue, you would wet it down, and then they were stickers. But it is from the Marvel Fan Club, Marvel Mania Fan Club, 1967 uncut sheet in near mint to mint condition. I bought a bunch of these back in the 80s, and I found a little group of them. So those are really good by themselves. So we're at 101 with MC. Looking for 111 or better. I'll put them over there so you guys can see. I really like that lowest lane number 100, though. One eleven with Rebecca, one twenty-one with Frank. And we do have 62 people here. We'd like to thank everybody for being here, as always. We have 121 with Frank, 111 with Rebecca. Just one, Carl. That's how they came in the kit. You would get one in your envelope, and then you would cut it, and you'd have eight total stickers. And they are from 1967. And it is a mint uncut sheet. One thirty eight with MC, one forty eight with Rebecca. One forty eight. Fifty with Frank. One fifty eight with Frank. Yep. Yeah, I agree. I had probably I want to say fifty of them left over when i bought them in the 80s i bought them at a comic show and i bought those and some of the marvel envelopes and i sold i thought i sold everything but i still had a little stack of maybe 50 of them yep yeah they do very well 
I have MC in at 179. 179 with MC. Greg is out. We're looking for 189 or better. Beck is out. Thank you, Rebecca. Okay, go ahead and start counting down. We're at 179 with MC. Looking for 189 or better. Frank is at 189. MC's at 206. Probably at 200. Mm -hmm. I'm going to throw this one in. This is Magic the Gathering, the Shadow Mage, and there is some card that comes with it. So I'm going to add that in there just because you guys hit over 200 bucks. little bonus for you. Oh man, come on, Brian. <laughs> Here, I'll be nice. Two Dell Giants. These are Silver Age, Walt Disney Christmas Parade, and Bugs Bunny Vacation Funnies. There you go. You guys went over 200. I think he was saying on Tom Brian because uh... Oh, he was, he was going out. Yeah, I'm nice. Oh, sorry. I'm the biggest lot of the day, so I'm going to Oh, it's not the biggest lot. I sold the three. 216 with Frank Perez. Plus, these were just kind of laying here on the table. I don't even know where they came from. <laughs> But I did empty out two short boxes today, guys. Thank you. Thank you all so much for helping me empty out short boxes. Game with Frank Perez. 26. Don't worry, the long box that I grabbed these out of is the box I'm going to pull out tomorrow and yeah, we're going to sell. Ton, Brian. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, MC. I was just trying to get everything off the table. I don't even know why we had two like giant Dell books not in any boxes, just kind of like sitting here on the table. What? These. I don't either. They might have came from the magazine Cam loads. Said your pile of crap. <laughs> so obviously, Cam, Cam found them somewhere. Uh, I don't remember. So we're 216 with Frank, looking for 226. Let us know if you're out. And this will be the last slot for today. Again, as always, we do appreciate everybody for being here. You guys are awesome. MC then at 227. So we have MCN at 227, looking for 237. And guys, we are having some merchandise made. So Mr. Buys a lot merchandise. Yeah, well, I've just got to, I've got to create the design a little bit better because I want it to be more simple than my shirt. So I just want it to be like, I'm going to like that sign place that made your magnet.
I don't know. We're gonna put like we're gonna put like we came, we watched, we bought, we sold at Mr. Buys a Lot on YouTube and just have a shirt like that or something like that. And then we're gonna give them out for free. Okay. Two fifty with MC. Two fifty with MC. So if you guys like advertising, vintage clothing, um, new with tags, clothes, comic books. Got pin back buttons. We got a little bit of jewelry. I see here. I see a rock and roll concert poster. Ready for tomorrow. See it up there. Um, yeah, that was on the one shelf for no reason. So we're 250 with MC. Frank is out. Thank you, Frank. So once I get them made up, you guys are going to have to give me shirt sizes. And we're going to send out a few of each size. Maybe. Yeah, we're going to send them out as a gift with your purchases. I'm not. In <laughs> There's no more comic books on the table. Oh, I would have to walk over to the big pile. Sold, sold, sold to MC for 250. Congratulations, MC. 250. Yep, she said 250. Like you know why you won that, Matt? Because you're so strong. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> Got the only Hercules of the day. So, as always, guys, we definitely appreciate you guys being with us. On behalf of myself and the staff here at Mr. Buys Lot, we want to thank you guys. You are what makes us do the auctions, and we hope that the stuff you get from us makes you a lot of money and grows your business, and you keep coming back because I have a never-ending supply of stuff. See? So thanks, guys. Hit that thumbs up on your way out. Have a great night. Don't forget JJ. At Big Barn is on tonight at 9 o'clock. I believe Donna and T might be having an auction later. If they are Shriker, please drop their link. I'll give you a second to do that. Oh, there you go. Loot Raiders having an auction in 40 minutes. There you guys go. So we'll see everybody later. Have a great night. And thank you so much for all your help today, Stryker. And to Albert's mom.